guys hi everyone a happy morning to one and all i am lavanya of bsc first year data science at jagdurgutta campus tswrdc now i'm here to explain about linear differential equations of first order so here first of all what is mean by differentiation we go on to say the terms called derivative differentiation of first order differentiation of second order so first of all what is mean by differentiation differentiation it means that the process or the method of derivative the rate of change of a function is called as differentiation it means for example if you have two variables x and y here so uh, the rate of change of x with respect to y that is dx dy by dx which is what we call as derivative and here our linear differential equations of first order and our definition is here the equation should be in the form of dy by dx plus py is equals to q where p and q are the functions of x then these type of equations are called as linear differential equations in y and here we have two methods to solve these problems that is method 1 and method 2 in method 1 we write the given equation in the form of dy by dx plus py is equals to q and next we calculate our integral factor that is integral factor is equals to e power integration of p dx and then we calculate our general solution which is what integral factor into y is equals to integration of integral factor q dx plus c it is our method one and in our method two the equation should be in the form of dx by dy where the differentiate differentiation takes place with respect to y okay and these type of equations are called as linear differential equations in x okay uh, here our integral factor is integral factor is equals to e power integration of p dy and our general solution is if is equals to if into x is equals to integration of integral factor q dy plus c so here is our problem uh, solve x square plus 1 dy by dx plus 4 xy is equals to 1 by x square plus 1 so this is our given equation uh, let us consider as a equation one so first of all divide that whole equation with x square plus 1 so that the x square plus 1 which is divide which is multiplying to the dy by dx it get cancel if it get cancel what we get dy by dx plus 4xy by x square plus 1 is equals to 1 by x square plus 1 whole square which is what in the form of dy by dx plus py is equals to q where p and q are 4x by x square plus 1 and our q is 1 by x square plus 1 whole square so now our next integral factor we have to find our integral factor that is e power integration of p dx and our p value is 4x by x square plus 1 okay write our uh, now let me write this 4x as 2 into 2x and as a 2 is a constant put it outside of integration so e power 2 integration of 2x by x square plus 1 dx it means that uh, it is in the form of integration of f dash x by f of x dx so that we get for what is our formula integration of e of f dash x of, uh, by f of x dx is equals to log f of x so by using that formula we get here e power 2 log of x square plus 1 so by using the formula a power uh, log a power m is equals to m log a we say so it is in the form of m log a by by reversing it we get as e power log x square plus 1 whole square okay now Uh, similarly we consider the base as a e okay uh, by using that like by, by considering the base as a e it means that it in the form of e power log x base e so that we get it as a x similarly by using that formula we get here x square plus 1 whole square which is what our integral factor and our next step is general solution that is integral factor into y is equals to integration of integral factor q dx plus c what is our integral factor here x square plus 1 whole square so x square plus 1 whole square into y is equals to integration of integral factor what is our integral x square plus 1 whole square so write that and our q what is our q 1 by x square plus 1 whole square so write that q and dx plus c so this x square plus 1 x square plus 1 get cancelled if it get cancelled what we get integration of 1 dx which is what left 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 hand side is as it is and our right hand side integration of 1 dx plus c and integration of 1 dx it becomes x so y into x square plus 1 whole square is equal to x plus c this is what our required solution and thank you for giving me this opportunity